Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and today I have a romantic Valentine's Day look. Now the last couple of years I've been doing a hot pink smoky eye kind of edgy Valentine's Day look so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this is using a bunch of soft purples in a little bit of a dolly eye makeup shape with pink cheeks and a nude gradient lip. So it's really wearable for an evening out with your guy or if you just want to look a little bit extra special without going like super over the top like sexy. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. If you'd like to see how it's done, then please stay tuned. So to start off, I've already put a base of Skin 79 VIP Gold BB Cream and Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation all over my face. I just mixed the two together and applied it. So for the eyes, I'm going to start off with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just applying that all over my eyelids to help my makeup last all day. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Tattoo Shadow in Toughest Taupe. I'm just using my finger to apply that all over the main part of my eyelid. And that'll just serve as a base for the shadow going on top of it. Next I'm taking my Truco Holographic Color Collection and I'm taking this middle color right here, this pink and also this one next to it, which is a blue holographic. See how they kind of are a little bit pearly holographic colors. I'm going to take this blue color first. I'm using my Sigma E55 brush. And you're going to pat this all over the main part of your eyelid right here. Next, using the same brush, I'm going to take the pink color and I'm going to pat that over top of the center to give it a pinky lilac -y kind of glow. Now I'm using my NYX Purple Eyeshadow, I'm taking this round little crease brush and I'm going to begin contouring. So what I'm going to do is start down here, do a little U-turn right at the outer corner and I'm going to pull the color in just little by little and I'm going to pull this color upward a little bit at the outer corner. Now I'm going to take the purple half of the L'Oreal Hip Duo in Electrified and using that same brush, I'm going to deepen up the crease color. Layering these purples should give you a nice multi-dimensional effect. Now I'm taking MAC Shroom and I'm going to apply this on the brow bone as a highlight color. Since this is a pretty bright look, you don't want anything that's going to be too distracting. You just want something that'll catch the light. To smooth out any harsh edges. Next, I'm going to apply the Wet n Wild Gel Eyeliner. Just do the outline first and wing it out at the ends. I'm going to make a little bit more of a dramatic wing compared to my everyday looks. It's okay to spend a little bit extra time making this exactly perfect because since it's a stronger eyeliner, you want to make sure that they're really, really even. So for the lower lash line, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, but leave a little bit of a gap right here. And then I'm going to just smudge this, whatever's left over on the eyeliner brush from doing the upper line, and smudge it towards the middle. Now I'm adding a little more fresh eyeliner to my brush. And I'm just going to wing a little, little wing. Now I'm going to take this dark purple again and take this Rockin' Republic 206 tiny, tiny brush. And I'm going to smoke out this lower lash line that we created. Now to brighten up the eyes just a little bit more, I'm taking my Stila Kajal Pencil in Topaz. And first I'm going to line my waterline. So you can see a difference here. This eye looks much brighter than this one. And then right here in between the two eyeliners, I'm going to just softly add a little bit of this shade just to enhance the contrast. Next, I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Pencil and Cottage Cheese. Next, I'm filling in my brows with the Liuelli Artist Auto Eyebrow Pencil. At the outer corners, I'm going to pull it out just a little bit longer than normal just because I winged my eyeliner out so much, I want it to be balanced. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara. You can also add a couple of coats of mascara to your lower lashes because we're going for a wide-eyed doll-like appearance. 
So if you're monolidded and wanted to stop here for the eyes, it's already a very beautiful look. But of course, to finish off the look for the eyes, I want to add a pair of false lashes. So these are the lashes I'm going to be using. They're actually two pairs of crisscross lashes that I layered on top of one another. Now for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this hot pink blush from the NARS Dan Marie palette. So I'm just using my Sigma F40 brush and I'm just going to pop this onto my cheeks. Using this stippling motion kind of helps me to control where and how much product I actually get in each area of my cheeks. And that way it's easy to sort of go back and forth and get the color really even and as pigmented as I want it to be. Now I'm going to use the Dior Shimmer Powder in Amber Diamond and I'm taking the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks in a J shape right here. This color is really great for adding that healthy glow as you can see while I turn my face. You can really see that little glow there, but it doesn't look like glitter particles on your face. You can also add this at the top of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, on your chin. Anywhere that the light would naturally hit your face is really good for highlighters. So for the lips, I'm going to do a little cute gradient on my lips. So I'm going to use Leo Welly Blooming Pop Cherry Tint. Now this is almost exactly like Benefit's Benetint, so if you have that, you can use that as well. I'm just applying this to the center of my lip right here. And then I'm just going to press my lips together. You can just spread it out with your finger. This is a lip stain, so it'll last a lot longer than regular lipstick, so you'll be able to kiss your man on Valentine's without worrying about anything. So I'm just going to do that a couple more times until the pigmentation is the amount that I want it to be. Just adding it to the center, and letting the color kind of fade out as if I was sucking on a popsicle. Now to enhance the gradient, what I'm going to do is I'm taking a nude lipstick. This is NYX Round Lipstick in Circe. So using a lip brush, I'm just going to line the outside of my lips. And you can just fade the color in like that. Now to give it back some softness, I'm just taking a lip balm. You can use whatever lip balm you have. This is just my BNC Peach Lip Balm. That adds just a little bit of shine so your lips look more natural as well without using a really heavy sticky gloss that's really going to stick to your guy. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did then please subscribe up there and like and favorite the video down below. If you want to leave any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, you can always leave that down in the comments or also the comments on my blog that'll be at fromheadtotoe.com. If you have any questions for me, you can also ask me on Twitter. That's at twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!